Hi, this is Ginger, Puppy Dylan, and Cooper's over there. Just want to ask you, have you lost a loved one? It doesn't have to be someone passing and leaving the earth, but maybe it's a breakup, a friendship breakup, a relative, a relation breakup. You know, you're not hanging out with them anymore, and it, 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 it's sad. I mean, our brain, we have a human brain, and it can get lonely and sad about the situation. And that's all like under the same category is that sadness. It's a sad process. And I keep talking about losing lost ones in my videos. Not only I lost my best friend of 16 years, but there's a lot of people, it's a hot topic. A lot of people are, you know, uh, they could be breakups, they could just be friendships, relatives that have to, you know, distance themselves, set boundaries, or, you know, lost a loved one. It could be in a marriage too. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, my clients are going through this. So that's why I keep bringing it up because I'm here to help you to help your heart get healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. He's the only one that's gonna be able to heal your heart. Nothing in the world is gonna be able to fill in that void. So asking God, God heal my heart and releasing the sadness cluster, I call it, and giving everything. And then you gotta renew the mind soul calm down in jesus name because it wants to think about that person or that person on the earth or what y'all did during when y'all were together friendships or relationships and and your soul you need to put in something to replace that habit and and learning how to live without that person either from earth you know gone you know not on earth anymore or that they're on the earth you got to you got to replace it so you know replacing it meaning if your soul your brain is thinking about that person all the time and it could bring you down with heaviness and burdens another video and it could bring you to like depression and sadness and grief sorrow despair and we don't want to do that we want to be renewed by the power of the holy spirit and giving everything to god and of course you grieve that is common we're human and we do i have my ups and down days but it's constantly pressing on you're a soldier on the battlefield the world's a battlefield and you're pressing on soldier you need to move forward and our soul doesn't want to a lot of times and our temple our body doesn't feel like it it doesn't want to do it you know and in motivating it by power you know renewing the mind and connecting to the Holy Spirit, your spirit, your heart connected to the Holy Spirit. So if you do these basic tools and you do it repeatedly throughout the day and any negative, I mean, any thoughts about that person, you think of something positive. It could be positive memories. It could be uh, if you did something with someone, you know, in a marriage or in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, and or just friendship you're used to doing certain things and you're in the now that person's not in your life for whatever reason then you need to replace it put something else uh, take a friend with you or, or a loved one to that same location or just do something else you know and if you have anger and hurt go work out you know think outside the box with the holy spirit because God is outside the box. I talked about that in the video. And you need to not limit God nor yourself because through Jesus you are special, loved, and worthy. And God wants you to have a great healthy support system and loved ones around you and godly family. Of course he wants that. But it's up to you to pull yourself out through only through Jesus, okay? Everything you do, do it through Jesus and let him guide you and help you renew your mind. It's gonna be okay. That person's not in my life. It's just a season. Just tell yourself, if you have to, tell your brain it's just a season. It's just a season, okay? Because if it's stressing out, you want to not stress it out and you will do what you need to do, soldier, to get your mindset 
a spirit soul and temple line up to God's will so then you can hear more from God and be used more from God and you could press on in your heart or get healer get healing faster so there's just a different different little I'm just giving you a few gold nuggets here and there you put it together okay and you add to this stuff this information this wisdom and knowledge and discernments okay and releasing the loneliness is very important only for your friend or loved one or it was a spouse or it could you know whatever it is you're releasing it to God you're releasing that pain and that hurt and abandonment we can accept abandonment subconsciously our soul without your spirit's permission and later we're, we're like wow i feel rejected neglected and abandoned and and it could bring in like it, the the human brain could think of things without your permission your spirit and this is the real you so this is the real you this is the leader this is not the leader we're training this to be the leader but you got to reprogram it by the power of the holy spirit with scriptures positive self-talk and then you'll be able to push through it through jesus and you will be able to get your heart healed because you want your heart healed right my heart's getting still healed from my my uh best friend not even two months ago you have your other ups and downs but just remember when you grieve it's okay but unhealthy balance is not okay because then your soul oh self-pity victim woe is me i'm doomed i i just i just so feel so rejected i just can't move i can't can't press on and blah 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 okay don't listen to that okay soul calm down in jesus name body calm down in jesus name god help me out so it's okay to cry i cry but an unhealthy balance is not necessary and it could bring other stuff sin in and then you have this heaviness and burdens and then you're carrying that around with your shoulder blades all tensed up another video so press on soldier okay and i lift up my friend i thank you god give them clarity what they need to repent release forgive and just keep releasing repeat after me god i repent i release my friend or whoever it is that you feel you know rejected from or abandoned go ahead that hurt you or left either one and i repent and release all sadness grief sorrow despair mourning depression suicide hopelessness helplessness self-pity victim self-loathing heaviness and burdens confusion distractions all stress and all fears and then you list that that'd be your homework i give everything to you god i surrender and i forgive myself and i forget being in hurtful painful situations and i forgive the person involved names fill in the blanks and you god just in case I surrender come Holy Spirit guide me teach me sanctify me I am yours and help me when I am grieving at an unhealthy balance so I can get my heart healed at a faster pace according to your will God and your timing go ahead I give it all to you then I say I'm ordained for you potential people I pronounce you forgiven now in Jesus name all the pain suffer sin demons mental anguish trauma involved release trauma mental anguish deep breath go now in jesus name come out in jesus name everything involved come out in jesus name come holy spirit fill my friend up with love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control give them your wisdom knowledge revelation counsel and understanding and fear of you god which they delight in we come in agreement in jesus name we pray amen and if you're enjoying these videos entertainment or learning especially please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we will continue it, god's will be done and remember through jesus you're the righteousness of god continue working the videos if you have my workbook come near to god keep it going it'll clean you up you're like an onion you have layers each time i talk to you there's a layer unless it's my pet babies or cr critters here in south texas to entertain you okay other than that the other ones are our business with god 
Until next time, you're the righteous of God and you're very special and loved.